So at a new location here in Delaware, flip this random piece of, looks like old asphalt, in the middle of the forest here off the trail. And of course, Northern Ringneck. He's just chilling under there. I found them here before, but not this year. This is my first snake this year at this spot. So, pretty cool. Always love finding these guys. Let's put him back. So, flip this one and almost missed this little cutie. <laughs> Just a little... Of course, Northern Ringneck. They have been out like crazy these past couple days. But, still pretty cool. Always beautiful. Go ahead, get back under there. Yep. Well, this sure was an interesting double flip. Flip this old TV here or something. It's in this pile of junk. Coiled up under there is an eastern rat and he's laying right on top of a garter snake i don't know if you can see down by the rat's tail you can kind of see some of the body of the garter and then you can see the garter moving around behind him that is too crazy hi Here you can see the garter's body back there First, I thought the rat was constricting him to eat him, but I think they're just huddled up together. Pretty crazy. Well, double flip. I often wonder how many small snakes I actually miss when I'm flipping big boards like this. So it took me like two minutes of looking before I spotted this baby ringneck. He was just chilling under there, and then finally I saw him, so maybe I need to start being more thorough every time I flip. Take my time. We're going to put him back under. This was definitely a first for me under this board. Double flip. Eastern rat snakes. <laughs> one's about average size, the other one's pretty big. But that is too cool. So that was just absolutely too much snake to handle with one hand while filming. So I had to let the other one go. I think it went right under. But this was the bigger of the two. A. Awesome. Been rat snake mania. So cool. You are handsome. I'm hoping this was a mated pair. But it's funny. I never found rat snakes at this spot. And then found two recently and then a double flip. Double flip of rat snakes. Too cool. <laughs> All right. So I was wondering when I was going to flip one of these guys down by the creek. Little baby water snake. You know, why don't you relax? It's not that bad. They have such sharp teeth, even in a... Just as babies. This one might be a year old. Alright, let me let you go back under there. Look at that, just a baby. And he still broke the skin. Just barely. These guys have such sharp teeth because everything they eat is basically slippery like fish and frogs. Come on. Oh, look at your belly. I know you're dangerous. I'm so scared. God. Oh, cool. I don't know what type of plant these are, but absolutely beautiful. Some really pretty pink flowers budding on the other side of the stream. They probably look white because of the glare, but 
Oh, well, as you can see, these are pink too. That must be the same plant. I have to look up what this is. And watching that knows, comment if you know the answer. Gorgeous little leopard frog right there. Oh, missed my first one of the season. There's another one. Yeah. This one's a little bit smaller. So handsome though. First giant bullfrog of the season. Big boy. Right here is a pickerel frog. Got a lot of biodiversity at this pond. Pretty cool. First gray tree frog of the year. We just caught him going across the road. Love these guys. So this is awesome. This is a barking tree frog. It's a lifer for me and my buddy Steven right here. I've seen green tree frogs before. They're a lot more common here on the Delmarva Peninsula than barkers. These guys are kind of just specific to this area right here. Awesome. There are species that exist in the American Southeast. So this population up here is a remnant that you have to go thousands, not thousands, but down to the Carolinas to find them. So for whatever reason, this population just chose to stay here. So flip this next board. Racer. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Hey. You come on. Good looking one. Hey. Now that was uncalled for. Yeah. I haven't found a racer in a couple weeks, so. Pretty cool finding this guy. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. He's got that nice blue belly. You're handsome. Hey. He's grumpy, so I'm going to let him go. I'm going to get back under there. Come on. Crazy. So this was pretty cool. About seconds after I flipped that racer, flipped this little, looks like an old lawnmower bag. And this handsome devil was under there. This is my first eastern box turtle of the year. This one's just a juvenile. But too cool. I guess just been hiding out under here during the day. Escaping the heat. You're just a little one. But pretty cool. Always love finding these guys. Um... I'm not even going to bother. She's all nuzzled in there. You see she's going into her box. I'm assuming it's a she. It could be he. I haven't looked at the bottom. but Pretty cool. Did not expect to find that tonight. Nice. So I think that we'll wrap up the video right there. I mean, it's been like in the 90s the past couple days. And, you know, we went out this evening. Even flipping that racer and that box turtle, that was a big deal. Um, awesome night of amphibian cruising the other night. Some pretty cool flips last week. I mean, I think we got enough for a video here. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll have more content for you soon. But you guys have a good week. Take care.